a thought I had was in verse 9 and 10, associate yourselves, O ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. You're talking about all these alliances that they're trying to get out there and find. You give ear to all far countries, gird yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it will come to naught. In verse 10, speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. And I, I think of the Savior. He talks about breaking the yoke and all of the oppressive things. But what does the Savior invite us into? He says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And take my, take my yoke, yoke upon, upon you. you. Yeah. For I'm, yeah. And if you think about that, when you see yoke and oxen, we know that they need to be about the same strength and size in order to effectively pull. And That's I, not I, the case for I, me well, and the Lord. <laughs> well, I, I see myself, you know, oh yeah, the Savior's so strong, and he says, okay, come. But what does that maybe tell us about ourselves? If the Savior says, I know who you are, and let's yoke together because I see the potential that you have. Let me loan you my strength because when we pull together, I know who you really are. Mm -hmm. You maybe cannot see that you belong in this yoke with me, but you do because you also are a child of the Most High God. You also are a child of Heavenly Parents with infinite potential to become like them. And so let's yoke together because you can't see it yet, but I see it. 